all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video we will be talking about the very first problem a smallest number of zoom circuits 2021 okay that is been going on okay so without wasting any of the times uh, i will just uh, mention out a few points that if you haven't subscribed our my channel yet i will just recommend to do that because we'll be uploading a daily uh, competitive programming stuffs, contest editorials and various competitive programming topics also. Okay, for now we will be discussing the hacker at contest June circuits 2021. Okay, so let's discuss the very first problem of smallest number. Okay, so you can see this is the very first problem. So it must be easy. Okay, so we have been given an integer k. So what we are going to do is like we will just noticing or mentioning out the points. We have, we have been given an integer k. So let me mention it down along with an integer k would be given find the smallest number n such that n has exactly k digits okay so we need to find n this should be like the smallest okay so let me uh, improve my writing stuff so smallest number n and it has exactly k digits and k is given to us and we need to find i think uh, we need to find the smallest n right okay and none of the digits in n is 0 that is uh, if we try to find out this capital n then it must have the exactly number of digits is k and it should not contain any 0 also mention is that uh, no digit 0 so no digit is going to be 0 and the product of the digits in number n is going to be greater than or equal to the sum of the digits in number n again one more thing let's call it as p p should be greater than or equal to s that is product should be greater than or equal to sum okay so sum is basically the sum of the digits and p is basically the product of the digits don't get confused okay so we will be given the test cases then the integer k and we need to print the smallest number n that satisfies the given condition okay so this problem is like very much simple problem once you are like aware about what is being happening over here in this problem like what is the main logic okay so let's move further to understand how, what we can do in the in the best possible way like brute force all solutions okay so also one thing that is being noticeable over here is k maximum k is going to be like 5 into 10 power 5 so it means that we will have some digit we will have some number n and it has exactly k digits right and k can go up to 5 into 10 power 5 ok it means that if you notice the number and uh, like uh, representing number like that that is it has at most k digits and k is like I am talking about the worst case now ok uh, ok so if we talk about the general case it would be better for such type of problems right because this is the very first problem and this should not be like a very uh, hard ok so don't get uh, like panic about that uh, the accuracy of the problem is very low how we I can solve over that no need to worry about okay so k can go at most 10 power 5 5 into 10 power 5 okay I am not talking about the example if you talk about the examples right then if you look over this uh, one you can see if k is going to be like 3 okay so consider from the base case like we have three places we need to put the digits over here considering none of the digits is going to be zero you can place first try to place one everywhere one then if you find out the product product is coming out to be one and uh, sum is coming out to be three still product is not going to be like greater than or equal to sum. you need to change any of the elements so try to make it two then again it will not happen and up to nine you can easily see product is not going to be like greater than or equal to sum okay then what are the next elements you can see I can just make it over here as 2 and if I can make it over here as 1 the product is coming out to be 2 and sum is coming out to be 4 still it is not possible okay the when I make it over 3 you can see the product is coming out to be 6 and sum is coming out to be 5 okay so can this be solved using uh, okay sorry sum is not coming out to be 5 sum is also coming out to be 6 product is like greater than or equal to sum yes it is okay this is the minimum number n Okay, so you must be thinking like if we can do the brute force. Yes, you can do the brute force, but uh, like uh, you are, if you are trying to put the digits greedily, I don't think it is a good approach, optimal approach. You can just brute force all the solutions. And how the brute force idea comes into your mind and my mind is like, uh, 
okay let's talk about the worst case this is going to help us uh, to understand the brute force technique that is if you uh, focus about that number of uh, digits maximum is going to be like 5 into 10 power 5 okay so uh, if we have been given uh, 5 into 10 power 5 empty places and we need to ensure that product of the digits is going to be like greater than or equal to sum okay uh, let's try to do one thing like uh, let's try to put 9 you can see if i will put uh, 2 9 over here and remaining places like a remaining 5 into 10 power 5 places okay the places are not like uh, my white screen board is not that enough i can represent 5 into 10 power 5 places of the numbers you just imagine over that all the rest of the places will, is filled with 1 okay suppose i will try to fill 9 over here you can see i have just put I just put it over two nines over here. Now the product is coming out to be 18 and sum is obviously coming out to be something greater value. Okay. Still, uh, that is if uh, k is like 5 into 10 power 5, still we, we are not going to find out uh, like uh, this is not going to be like a minimum number, like putting only two nines. Then what is the minimum number then? Okay. Let me just erase these numbers and let us try to do something mathematical calculations. Okay. So don't get bored. So if I will put one, one nine, then one nine, then one nine, and then three one nine, and then four. That is sorry, five nines over here, and remaining all the places is filled with one. Okay, let us try to find out the product now and sum now. Okay, you can see the product is coming out to be nine raised to the power five, and what is the sum? Sum is coming out to be like k. That is, there would be k places in k is five into ten power five. Plus uh, these five nines, you can see I will just use eight into five forty. So my sum is coming out to be k plus forty. And if you just find out this exact value, you can see it is coming out to be five zero zero four zero. I think one zero sorry two three five. Yes, this is the exact value of sum five thousand and forty. And this is nine power five. Okay, 9 power 5 can, what is the value of this 9 power 5? Uh, let me do one thing. 9 into 9 into 9 into 9. 9 power 5 is this value. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it can be written as 3 power 10, right? What is the value of 3 power 10? I don't think what is being happening over to the, my internet. Okay, so let's uh, uh, just... Uh, find out the 3 whether 3 power 10 is going to be like greater than 5 3, 3 times 0 and 4 so you can easily see that uh, 3 power 10 is like uh, 3 power 5 what is the value of 3 power 5 uh, ok so let me just do, do one thing I will open up my mobile and let us find out my values ok so don't get bored ok so you can see I have just recently find out the values it's like uh, 3 power 5 is coming out to be uh, 243 and again this is 3 power 5 so I will just multiply it by again one uh, same times like 243 into 243 so it is coming out to be 5 9 0 4 9 you can see that product is coming out this value and sum is coming out to be this value you can see 5 9 0 4 9 is the product and sum is like this one still my product is not going to be like greater than the sum okay so greater than or equal to sum. it means that still i need to add something more value that let's say i will add one more nine over here then my product what is my new product my new product is coming out to be like nine power six so it will come out to be three power twelve then what is the value of three power twelve so i'm going to just multiply my, my this with 9 again it will come out to be like let me change my color right down 5 3 1 4 4 1 so this is my new product when there would be 6 9 over here starting from the right hand side okay no you must you guys must be wondering why i put it 9 from the right side why not from the first side note that we need to find the minimum and so that's why i put it 9 from the right hand side you can see product is coming out to be this one and what is my sum sum is coming out to be k plus 8 into 6 I think so it will come out to be like uh, 5 3 times 0 
and uh, it will come out to be 48. Now you can see this is my sum like 5, 3 times 0 and 48 and this is my product. Can you compare now? Yes, we can compare. You can easily see that this product is going to be like greater than or equal to this sum. Now I can just easily claim that for maximum value that is for k equal to 5 into 10 power 5, I can easily have the answer only when there would be 6, 9 present over here. And if you find out the number actually, it is actually less than or equal to like uh, 1 e6. That is 10 power 6. I think this is like less than 10 power 6. Yes, this value is like less than 10 power 6. So if we just put a 1 over here, that is you can see all the values. Uh, yes, it is, around, it is around 10 power 6. That if you uh, brute force the 10 power 6 values, and uh, try to put up these values at the suffix of this uh, k digit number I can easily find out the answers ok so what I am going to do is, is I will start brute forcing the values from 1 from 1 up, up to this 10 power 6 ok so from 1 up to this 10 power 6 and I will brute force all the values and check it out that whether including this number as a suffix of a k digit number that this will uh, give us a, like a product of the digits going to be like greater than or equal to sum of the digits. Yes, if it is holding the value, then I will just print out this capital N as the smallest number. That is our answer. Otherwise, I will check out the next values. And this gives me the idea that worst case has the answer of only the values less than 10 power 6. You can see this 3 times 9 and 3 times 9. The value is around 10 power 6. I can get the answer until the 10 power 6. And brute forcing all the values of like 10 power 6 values is like under the time limit of 1 second is like sufficient. Okay. So what I am going to do is let's move over to the code and check it out whether this is going to be like efficient one or not. You can see a smallest number is why the question that I am going to discuss over here. Let me just zoom it out. I have written some function like, like uh, this is constant LL capital N. And it is going up to 1e6. You can easily see 1e6 is because we need to just brute force the values of 1e6. That's why I have taken this capital N as 1e6. And I have some functions like count of digits is going to find the count of the digits of a current number n. And sum of the digits again sum of the digits of current number n. And again the product of the digits and is 0. Is 0 is going to check it out whether my uh, given number has, uh, has any of the digits being 0 or not. Okay, now for every test case, I have taken the value of k and just brute force all the values of uh, that is brute forced up to 1e6 value because for the worst case like 5 into 10 power 5, I can get the answer by just uh, by just brute forcing the values up to 1e power 6. Okay, so I will first check it out if a particular number that I am going to take as a suffix is, go is going to contain a 0 or not. If it is containing a 0, I will just continue and move further. Okay, otherwise I will find count count of the digits of my current uh, uh, number that is current suffix that I am appending it right now. Okay, you can see in this case I am just trying to append 6 times of 9. Then in this case my count of digits will come out to be what? Uh, count of digits will come out to be 6. Okay, and sum, some of the digits will come out to be like uh, 6 times of 9. So 9 into 6, this will come out to be some of the digits. Okay, and product of digits is again all the rest of the all of the digits is like one. So my product of digits is exactly equal to the whatever the digits that I am appending it right now. Okay, so this will be the product of digits and my current sum. Current sum is can be written as k. K I am just taking it out k as because initially I am trying to fill every position with one. So k is my current sum minus count of the digits plus sum. That is I have just subtracted all the nines. That is Sorry, uh, initially I filled all the places with 1. Then I will subtract the number of digits. Here you can see initially every place is filled with 1. So it will have the sum k minus the number of digits that the current number, current suffix will have. It will have the count c plus the sum, sum of the digits that I am appending it right now. That is 9 into 6. So this will be the sum of the entire. That is if this is my new number, then this k minus c plus this 9 into 6 is my current sum right now. 
and product is as i have already calculated and i will check if product is going to be like greater than equal to sum that is we have found the minimum number n capital so i will just print start printing j equal to 1 up to j k minus count because count is my current number of digits and everything will be placed as 1 and the remaining number remaining suffix that i am going to append it right now will be i so i will print out the i and just break it out because we have found the smallest number n and this is my answer okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video